So we got Alex on the phone. How are you? Good, thanks. Thanks for having me on. Uh, so, um, just uh, rather than have me do it, um, why don't you do me a favor uh, and, first of all, tell me, and this is a question I ask everybody we have on this program, tell me how you'd like to be identified. Sure. Alex Marzano Lesnovich, and I use the pronouns they and them. And you, you identify yourself in the, in the more macro societal sense as non-binary, right? That's correct. Genderqueer. So this plays out a whole lot of ways in, in your personal life and in your, your sort of outside the office um, interactions. But, but what we want to do, what I want to do with you here today is, is explore a little bit what it means for you being a gender fluid person um, in this economy. I, I described up in the introduction your experience at TSA and, and what that was like for you. Um, I mean, what? When you go out and about and you're buying a cup of coffee or or you stop for a bagel or something, it, is your gender identity part of your economic decision making? It absolutely is. And I, I need to just um, unfortunately do a little clarifying yeah, on please. it. I don't actually identify as gender fluid. Got it. So gender fluid would be someone who experiences their gender as changing day to day. Um, and I think that's true for a lot of people. For me, it really isn't. For me, I've I've known roughly since I was eight that I sort of didn't fall into the male or female categories. Got it. And so the way it tends to interact with my day-to-day, my friends and I are much more likely to frequent coffee shops. In fact, we only coffee sh- frequent coffee shops where there's a restroom we can use. Yeah. 